Hey ladies, this is my current everyday go-to makeup look. I like to keep it nice and simple, so what I want you to do is stay tuned, check it out so you can see what I use and how I got this look. Nice and simple, then you can go try it. Okay ladies, let's get right into it. So today I'm gonna show you guys my current everyday go-to makeup. I don't wear makeup that much like I used to, but um, when I do wanna put it on, I like to keep my makeup very simple. I kinda do the same makeup look all the time but um i just need to work out some of these palettes because some shades look different and some looks are different and i'm really trying to get into wearing um eyeliner i haven't bought an eyeliner yet i want you guys to recommend me one so what i like to do is pretty much start with my brows i'll leave that information down below what i use for my brows keep that really simple you always know i keep the brows very affordable and versatile because I feel like certain parts of your face and certain things you don't have to spend that much money on when it comes to um your face so on an everyday basis when i do my makeup um i like to i don't like to i have dry skin but some parts of my face can tend to get oily depending on like what's going on the, the day you know and it'll be just pretty much in the t-zone and it'll make my face look really shiny but meanwhile i'm dry everywhere else but i do use a mattifying primer the primer at the moment when i'm using is the milani prime shield i like this one it doesn't really um dry you out that much but it definitely leaves you matte and i can go a long a long time during the day before i get oily by that time i'm home and time to take all this all this stuff off which is good so i like to use that in conjunction just to kind of give you like an idea what I, what I like to use baby skin is another one but i want to say within a couple of hours i'm not say two or three maybe about four or five i'll start getting oily and i have to kind of block with tissue with this one i'm pretty much good for maybe about six to seven i'm good with this one so yeah so now that i have that on i'm gonna do my foundation and my foundation that i like to wear a lot a lot a lot a lot is this one. <laughs> i like my huda but for every day i do prefer a drugstore foundation because you're going to replenish that often you're going to replenish that drugstore foundation pretty often and it's more affordable versus your high end your high end might be about 20 to 40 bucks so you know you ain't trying to for me i can't say for y'all but i know for me i'm not trying to um purchase that often for an everyday so this one is the l'oreal infallible uh 24 fresh wear foundation i'm in the shade ooh, oh 515 i will leave everything down below for you so you will know and what is your favorite drugstore foundation what are you using at the moment what's your go-to foundation what's your go-to product you know we tend to have like a little i know for me I have like a little tray. I got it from the Dollar Tree. And I put like my everyday makeup in that particular tray. I think I'm going to show you that. And I do have things that I may switch up with. But for the most part, I keep that particular tray just pretty much filled. And then when I go away, I'll just pull from that. And I'll um, use that in my makeup bag. So... I'll have my everyday makeup and right now my makeup stash I don't have a stash <laughs> I just have pretty much I, I cleaned my makeup out guys it was just getting out of hand like I had a whole but I'm gonna give you an example I had all the wet and wild palettes you know I like affordable stuff and then I had like the Too Faced palettes when I had the, I got Kat Von D I just like I don't need all of these the, the thing is to use your makeup try to create different looks with what you have because you tend to buy so much and then you don't even realize what you have and things get old things expire you know you got to be very mindful i'm very fortunate that i have my lot of my palettes a little old i'm not going to deny that i do have some new ones but um i just use them i just use them <laughs> so the concealer that i'm going to be using for my everyday I like to keep my um, my concealer very, very neutral for every day because I'm going to work. So I'll use the, the corresponding infallible full wear concealer. And this is in the shade, honey, 415. 
you really can't even see it because you see it it on camera it looks like it's really bright but in person it's it's really not you can't barely see anything it's very neutral i like it and it's really it's not cakey it's not cakey at all so i'm going to use my trader joe's rose water to wet my um sponge and i don't really wet my um sponges anymore like you know put it under the, the faucet and let them get really 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 wet because i find with me you know it'll get kind of like cakey under the eye so if i keep it very simple it will um this damp and you know you you well i shouldn't say it like that because it makes it sound like i'm drenching it but i like it damp versus me actually submerging the whole sponge in water and then wringing it out i rather just spray it okay and this is a nice natural highlight it's nothing too heavy i'm gonna do a igtv so stay tuned for that if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm going to leave my link right here. I'm going to do an IGTV just showing like my favorite, I want to say my top five, um, my top five concealers. Then I'm going to do my foundations too because I like to, you know, once you really figure out what works for you, it's kind of good to stay with that. You know, I, got, I love all things beauty, but sometimes you get caught up with buying so many different things. You never really have a chance to enjoy what you have or to enjoy, you know, that actual bunny that you bought. You wear it two times before you know something else comes out and you really don't enjoy. So, that looks good. So, put this rose water over here. My staple, my staple is this guy here. This is my black radiance i love this stuff oh my god i need to try more black radiance products if you use any of their other products let me know what you like they have a foundation a stick everything back in the day i saw a lot of girls you know women using it but i never jumped on the bandwagon when it came to the foundation i don't know if i should if i'm too late i don't know but um yeah let me know if you've used some of their foundation I want to get I know Milani has um a foundation that I really like but I, I want to re I want to really be repurchase this one this cover girl I'm holding to the bottle because I want to make sure that I um repurchase it this is the cover girl true blend matte mate in d50 now this is the jam but I mean when I go to the store they don't even have my shade I don't remember what Target I went to to buy that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just pretty much setting my under eye and I'm going to just contour a little bit. Since I've had, I got this shortcut, my makeup, I'm tending to do just a little bit more. Something that I normally wouldn't do before, which is pretty much contour, bronze, you know. So I'm doing this now just to kind of warm up the face, kind of give it some structure, chisel it out a little bit since my face is, um... <laughs> my haircut is my my face looks I don't really wear makeup so I'm okay with not wearing makeup with a short haircut but sometimes when you want to put the makeup on with the short haircut you have to kind of do it up just a little bit more just to kind of give it a little bit more um pizzazz to me to me to me so I'll use all of it I don't really have that many highlights because highlighters is just like whatever to me some sparkle more than the next but I think I'm okay when it comes to the house. So I'm going to go ahead and just set my face. I'm going to use my Sephora True Blend. So I'm going to use my Sephora. I'm going to use my Sephora powder. This is the Micro Smooth. I love this stuff. I just pretty much set all over. And I think for like my everyday look, I like to pretty much focus on my face making sure my face looks good and then everything else will just fall into place. I'm just gonna set everything, get that powdery look off of me. 
and then I'm gonna fan, fan, fan. So for my eyes, I've been trying to use this palette. You guys know I am struggling with this palette. <laughs> I like it, it's really pretty, it's really nice. It has a lot of neutral tones in here, you know, which I do like and enjoy. But, I'm not sure if you guys remember me talking about this palette. I tried to return it, but I had it for like three months, did not know you had to return it by a certain time. A lot of beautiful shades. You probably not even get in the real like color but a lot of beautiful shades they have a 3503 palette this is a 3502 palette so there's one after this and i'm not gonna get it but i need to i try to use this one i try i like to use this palette i'm just doing one shade i don't know why you think i want to use more but i just use one shade and there's so many colors i mean so many shades so what i'm gonna go in and do I'm going to use, I don't even know what to use. I'm going to use some this shade called Contour. Okay. And for my everyday look, I like to make sure that it's simple, quick, and fast. So I don't want to do too many things. I'll play around with the face, make sure my face is nice and, you know, done up. But I definitely want my eyes to be super neutral because I don't want to spend too much time. I don't want to especially when I'm on the road and I'm working and I got to get to one of my agencies in the morning and I don't slept too much or you know me and my co was up doing things you know to prepare in the morning when it's time for me to get up I just need to make sure I look presentable and that's when I really mostly wear my makeup and on the weekends and sometimes during the week sometimes but these last few um I want to say this much since, since my hair's been cut I just been feeling so good with just not wearing <laughs> any makeup i don't know something about not having no hair not no makeup it just it just it just goes together <laughs> so i like to just do a nice all over shade and this shade that i'm using is just called contour it's just pretty much my skin tone but just a little deeper And then I'm going to go in with Universal. It's the only, like the really, really lightest shade, which is right here. And I'm going to use the same brush. So again, you know, when you're in a, you're not in a rush, when you're trying to, you know, accomplish things, you don't have time to be switching out brushes. Let's put it over my highlight. Everything looks nice and good. Nothing too crazy. And this is it. So... I'll definitely leave all this information down below about that. And now, you guys know I did buy this. I need to use this. Let me pull this out. Because I love my rocket, but I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to use um, Buried in Sex. I have a small one. I like this one too. Small is good, especially when you're trying to, not unless you misplace it. Lord have mercy. Misplacing these little guys. So what I'm going to do is put on my liner, Elf, of course. I just bought me a new one. It's almost finished. And I'm going to use this. I'll be right back. So I have my liner on. I have a mascara. Everything is nice, well put together. Now we're going to focus on these lips. So we're going to go ahead and put on my lip liner. My lip liner is going to be this NYX Suede. This is Mason. I love the NYX Suede pencil. I'm going to use a Maybelline lipstick. This one is in 545. This is a matte. It's called Beige Babe. Very affordable. And for gloss, I'm going to use Ulta. This is their uh, shiny sheer lip gloss. I need to really get some more of this stuff because I love it. Okay, so here you have it. This is my current everyday go-to makeup. This is what I use. I don't deviate from this. I have like a little basket. Let me show you my basket. This is it. I got from a Dollar Tree. This is it. I put pretty much every day what i'm going to use i stick to it and if only i may change out i may change out the palette but trust me when i tell you the shade the brown give or take will be the same my thing is if you're going to have your everyday look kind of keep it simple know what it is so when you want to put your makeup on it's not like a fuss 
it's not a fuss in the morning you just know what you're gonna do you do it and you go and you're always gonna look good you're gonna go, always gonna look well put together and that is the say hey to all my new subscribers hey to all my lawyers thanks for hanging out with me and i'll catch you in my next video bye <laughs>